the permanent maxillary central incisor, firstly the labial surface. First of all, we will start with a drawing a horizontal line, which is 0.5 away from the end of the paper, and uh, the same for the uh, wax block, and the vertical line, okay? So horizontal and vertical line and A is the starting point of our drawing. The first dimension which represents the ground length from A to B. From A to B, it is 10.5 millimeters, which represent the ground length. So here, we can write all four lines. It will be 1 millimeter, so it will be the drawing. Uh, larger than the uh, wax pattern or wax block. We're going to use it as one uh, millimeter. We're going to use it as one millimeter. It represents the crown length. From B to C, 13 millimeter, which represents the root length. The second step is to uh, divide the crown into th thirds. Okay, Each third uh, is equal to 3.5 millimeters. Okay, so the first third from uh, this one to this point, it will be the incisor third. The second one will be the middle third, and the third and the last one is the cervical third. It is the starting point for every drawing. The first dimension for the maxillary permanent central incisor on the labial surface is the mesial distal dimension at the cervix, which is equal to 7 millimeters. Uh, it is 1.5 away from B. So from B point, uh, we uh, put this point, which is 1.5 millimeter downward B, which rep represents the uh, level of the cervical line, and then 3.5 millimeter mesially and 3.5 millimeter distally. So here is three points that we can draw the cervical line, okay, by those points. The second dimension is the mesial distal dimension at the crest of curvature or the contact area. The distance is equal to 8.5 millimeters, the level. Mesially, the level will be 0.5 millimeter from A and then 4.25 millimeters towards the mesial surface. Here the point will be the contact area. While on the distal surface, the point will be at the junction between the incisal and middle third. It's also equal to 4.25 millimeters. Here is the contact area at the distal surface. By those points, we can now finish the drawing. Uh, the third step is to represent the outline. The outline, the mesial outline, must be straight from the cervix point to the crest point by drawing an uh, almost straight line. دائما استخدم ايدك للرسم لتستخدم المسطرة حتى يكون straight outline. While for the distal outline, يكون slightly convex from the cervix to the crest and then uh, continue with the convexity up to the incisal edge. By this way, it is a curved line or convex line. The crest of this curved line will be at the junction between the incisal and middle third. The other outline is the cervical line, which is convex line. The, convex, the convexity at this surface, it will be towards the root. And then finishing the drawing of the root, which is usually a blunt cone shape. Just finish this one as a cone shape. By this way, we finish the uh, drawing of the maxillary central incisor. Be sure about the contact area, the maximum crest of curvature. And then when we started with the block of the wax, we will try to draw the same figure on this wax block before start to carving, okay? As I said, straight, visually outline, rounded, uh, uh, outlined distally with the crest of curvature at the junction, okay?